Christine, your question is about getting clients. I think a lot of us can relate to that, especially when we're um, getting getting started or getting going again mm -hmm. after a break in our business. And uh, what you have done um, or in the past, you were more broader of a of a niche, more you know, general life coaching, and uh, more recently, you have niched down um, into a specific area. Of, for example, women with ADHD. Um, now your question is, well, what's my recommended strategy for, for getting clients? Because you have been doing some things like, you know, posting on Facebook about it and emailing uh, friends and family about, about your, about your new niche. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. So um, as I was thinking about it this morning, I, I, you know, was reminded of sort of like a a, a three-part, a three-prong uh, principles for enrollment, or client enrollment that I'll share with you, and then we can discuss from here. So uh, visibility, resonance, and sampling. I'm going to just talk about this briefly here. Visibility, uh, of course, if people don't know that your offers, uh, your services exist, they won't be able to consider it. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, or or more, more specifically, though, um, yeah, they need to know that your offers exist, but they also need to know that that you know what you're talking about. So uh, either there's already some kind of trust. Uh, we can even add this in here, VT, <laughs> VTRS, visibility trust. So it's like, sure, uh, let's say I today I started, I started saying, I'm going to coach women on ADHD. And I'm just, hey, Christine, will you hire me to, to coach you on ADHD? And you're like, George, <laughs> I, I like you. Uh, I, I know you, you're visible, but I don't know if, you know anything about that you know you don't you know so 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 visibility includes not just hey hire me on this offer but here's what i know about it or here's why you might trust me on it so so that's sort of one thing to think about is um maybe maybe your facebook posts and your emails have included some form of credibility and experience with that or content you know re related to 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 your thoughts on this so visibility trust um Resonance is basically, well, once you have visibility with people, um, is your offer and content resonant with what they care about at this time? So let me ask you this. For example, when you said that you emailed friends, family, uh, you post on Facebook, which is also friends and family. Um, do you, so women, HDHG coaching, do you feel like your offer matches what the people you reached out to are looking for, or are you sure? Are you? How do you feel about that? Well, the the there it's just it's people who I know who I'm asking to help me get the word out. The those people, almost all of them, are not necessarily people that would be clients. I'm asking them mm -hmm. to get the word out so I can. Yeah. Yeah. So the, 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 so not so much them. They're supportive, okay. but not so much them. Okay. Okay. Um, what have you had conversations with those people, the people you're directly in contact with about how you could shape how you describe the service so that it actually instantly reminds them of someone they know? Um, I've been referring them to uh, um, the, a page on my website that sure. specifically has examples about, is this you? Do you, you, oh, know, okay. do you recognize yourself in this? I would highly, so this is where market research comes in. Most of us, unfortunately, most of us, myself included, got bad marketing training in, in the early days or in the beginning of our business, maybe you all can relate, where it's like, okay, step one, define a niche. Step two, create a website. Step three, get, your, get the word out. Mm -hmm. Completely, it's like, completely opposite okay right. so please fire your marketing coach who is telling you this i'm sorry i don't i don't mean to say that sorry i, I don't i don't, I don't want to piss off my my niche mates i don't mean i don't mean to say that right. but, but essentially having been around and serving mostly coaches mentors healers facilitators solopreneurs freelancers for 13 years i found that the traditional marketing pathway of niche clarification website and then visibility is 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 discouraging and kind of a waste of time and waste of money anyway and so what we should be what we should have been doing is opposite meaning first 
get visible. Second, do the market research. And third, put the website together. Mm -hmm. And people don't teach you this. So it's like, that's why I said visibility first. Why? Because the process of visibility actually, number one, it, well, when I say visibility, I mean, you know, when you begin, uh, yeah, you might have an idea of this is the service I want to provide and you can start getting visible, but probably people aren't going to sign up because you're not credible yet. Um, so the beginning of visibility is really content. It's like, well, I think I'm going to provide stuff in this space. So let me just talk about what I know and my experiences in this space. I'm just going to talk about it. And of course, hopefully I'll get it out there more by running Facebook, Instagram ads, that kind of stuff. If we have mm -hmm. at least $30 a month uh, to spend on that. So it's like, let me talk, let me talk, let me talk, let me talk. Uh, let me have people read or watch my thoughts on this area that I want to make money in. Let me just talk about it because I don't even know if I really want to do it or not. Actually, if I haven't started serving clients yet, I don't really know. I'm just making a guess that I would enjoy working with women with ADHD, but I'm not sure. Let me go ahead and talk about it. And then as I talk about it, people go, oh, you seem like you know what you're talking about. Okay, good. And you'll be like, oh, wow, I never thought about this way. Just the talking about it creates connections that we hadn't thought of. And it's like, oh, maybe I could offer, instead of just women with HDD, what about, what about women who are trying to, trying to complete a project with ADHD and they're having a hard time? Maybe that should be my, you know, it's like you don't know in the early days what your niche really should be. The niche should be the final step of your business, not the first step. You know, so, so visibility with content, uh, which creates ideas in your mind, you know, maybe I should do that, maybe I should do that, and credibility. So it's kind of like a double, double whammy, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we do market research. It's like, okay, now that I have some people listening to me talking on a regular basis, mm -hmm. let me talk to them individually about what I should sell them. You see, it's like, this is where, like I said, the traditional marketing gets it all opposite. It's like, let me, let me create a beautiful website and then force you to buy it from me when I don't even know if that's what you want. <laughs> but George, that's where advertising comes in. You build a beautiful website and you get it out to a lot of people and people buy it. Isn't that, isn't that true? Really? Have you tried it? Good luck. Yes, you'll need thousands of dollars of advertising dollars to get it out to tens of thousands of people again and again and again, many times until you brainwash some people to buy from you. That's how advertising works. Mm -hmm. Most of us don't have that budget of thousands in the beginning. We might have 30 to hundred dollars a month. Okay. We're willing to experiment. Not mm -hmm. thousands. Okay. So visibility first, then market research, which is like, Christine, let's talk. You let's say I'm market researching with you. You're, you're one of my potential clients. You're one of my friends or colleagues or something. So now I get on you. I get you on the phone. Says, "Hey, Christine, have you seen me posting articles about women with ADHD?" And you're like, "Yeah, oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah." Well, I'm thinking of offering a service in in this niche, um, but I'm not sure because I don't know if enough people will want it or not. Do you can I can I get your help? Like, just what what might what do you think I could offer that someone you can think of would go? Oh my gosh, I need that. I want to buy that. You see what I mean? And then, and then if I, if I was, if you were the market research uh, subject, uh, I would literally be taking massive notes on what you're saying, or, or if you don't mind, I would record it because mm -hmm. it's, it's private recording. Um, it's just for me, Christine, I'm not going to share this, you know, that kind of thing. And then, and then I'll, I'll, I'll like, I'll like either take notes or I'll listen very carefully and ask you questions. Oh, oh, you, you mentioned projects not getting done. I didn't think about that. Tell me more. Oh yeah, my, my friend Susie really, she, she's really talking about her, herself, right? Oh yeah, my friend Susie um, has this issue where um, you know she can't do this, or or maybe maybe she has a friend Susie who's talking to her about this all the time, and she wants to, she wants to finally get going on her on her side side hustle, or she wants to get going on her hobby, but she just kept you know, so much stuff going on in her life and gets taken off here and there, so she would love to have someone accountability coach. Mm -hmm. accountability coach i never thought about calling myself that before you see like this is before i put a website together because I, I don't even know what's what to go on the website i didn't even know i should call it accountability coaching i didn't know i didn't think of that until i started having conversations and the, the actual people the people are telling me what they want mm -hmm. or what their friend susie wants and now 
I'm going to put a one page website together, not a, not spending $5,000 and three months to put together a, and a beautiful looking website, branded logo, 15 pages, Pfft, screw it. One page website, one page website called George Cow Accountability Coach for women who try to start a hobby, but are taken again, taken away from kids and other, you know, caretaking in their, in their life. One page. That's it. And that's it. And that, now assuming I, I've had five different, you know, plus market research conversations and three out of the five confirmed this fact. Right, right. You know what I mean? So, 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 so visibility, resonance, and then sampling. So the sampling part is like, okay, I think I've got an offer, something I've talked to the people. They told me what they want to buy or likely to refer because they're like, oh, I can think of Susie and, 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 and Marv and, you know, Kathy, who, who are my friends of mine who could totally use a service like this. Mm -hmm. Great. Let me put the webpage together. I'll, I'll be back to you. And then you put the web page together. Part of the market research is like, all right, let me, I, I put the one page website, web page together. And then I send it to you, Christine, if you were the subject of my market research. Hey, Christine, did I get it right? Do you think Susie and Marv and Kathy would be really into this? Or can I change the language? Like the, the, the web page, the website creation isn't you with a marketing genius, you with a graphic designer, you with a copywriter, and then you two just work on it and, 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 and they were done and then you're presented to the world. No, it should be you with 50 people giving you feedback or not 50. If, you, if we're lucky, we get 50 people giving us feedback and we're diligent with market research. But it's more like you with five or 10 or 15 people who are like really eagerly waiting for you to put the webpage together because they have Susie, Kathy and Marv, their friends waiting for you to sell something to them. That's how business, that's how authentic business works anyway. That's how, that's my perspective. So, so by this point, you've got visibility, You've got market research or, or resonance down. Now you've got sampling we're going to work on. Okay. All right. Great. Christine, uh, I've got, thanks to our conversations, I put the webpage together based on what you think Susie and Marv and Kathy are going are gonna to really uh, uh, want. Marv. What's Marv? Is that a woman's name? <laughs> Marvin? No. Marv? Mar Marvara? I don't know. Wait, let's just keep going with Marv. All right. Not that I not, well, not that we know of. Marvina. Okay. Marvina, thank you. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. We'll go with we'll go with Susie, Marv, and Kathy. Okay, so now sampling. What does sampling mean? Well, Christine, your your friend Marv doesn't doesn't know me directly. Maybe she's heard about me from you, right? I don't know if she's gonna start paying me $150 an hour to do ADHD coaching. She doesn't know me that well. So we need this, we need some sampling here. Either how we go to, um, I don't know, they still do this post post pandemic. I think they started to Costco, right, or any other or grocery stores where they they hand you a little sample to say, before you buy this twelve pack of sausages, <laughs> why don't you try this little chunk first? Because <laughs> how do how do you, how are you going to trust me on buying these twelve pack sausages when you know I'm giving you a chunk first? Mm -hmm. Let me give you a chunk, and then you could see if you like it. By the way, those of you vegan, this is a vegan sausage. Don't worry, okay. We have a vegan version of this. So, and then gluten-free also, right? And then, and then you can buy the, okay. So, so, so what is your sampling? Instead of like, all right, hire me for, for six pack, <laughs> six pack, you know, six months of coaching for your ADHD because we need six months together. Trust me, right? It's like, it's like me asking you to buy a pallet of sausages, <laughs> not, just, not just a 12 pack. So what is your sample that you can give? Well, the sample could be, Christine, I thank you for being willing to refer Susie, Marv, and Kathy. They're your friends. So I'm going to take good care of them. So tell you what, for each of them, I'm going to give them an hour of ADHD coaching. No charge, no strings attached, really. I mean, at this point, I am just wanting more people to be served by this because I want, I want I, I enjoy it, number one. Number two, I want also feedback from them on whether it's helping them. And number three, um, they, they, they are, they're going to get helped by it, and I, I think, and they might spread the word, you know? So I'll, I'll take good care of your friends. Would, would they be willing to just try an hour with me for free, no strings attached? You see how, how easy that would be, right? 
Yeah. For you I, to tell I, your friends? Yeah, I do that. I do do that because I don't want oh, that's people great. to give me money and tell sure. they know whether or not oh, yeah. it's right. Yeah. So that's one form of sampling. Another form of sampling would be doing like a free webinar. Uh, my favorite is a free to attend paid recording webinar. I have a whole strategy on that. But uh, basically, it's like, let me set up a webinar where, you know, in the beginning, even if three people show up, it's like having an exploratory call with three people at the same time. Let me let that sink in. Mm -hmm. Your webinar doesn't have to be attended by, you know, 100 people. It can be attended by two people or one person. It's like, I was going to do the exploratory call anyway. <laughs> I was going to do the webinar anyway. I might as well do it with one person there. Right. And hopefully you'll get three people there um, mm -hmm. or five or 10, maybe, or 15. Great. But it's a free to attend paid recording webinar, meaning, hey, I'm going to announce it. If you want to show up, for, if you want to show up live, it's free. No, no, no cost. And if you fill out the feedback form afterwards, I'll even send you the recording for free. If you can't attend, you can buy it for some nominal price, $20, $40, $60, whatever, whatever you want to set the price at, it's fine. You can buy it later because the webinar is actually that worthwhile to buy. I'm going to make it so that it's worthwhile. I'm not, it's not a sales pitch. I'll, I'll talk about my service for five minutes at the end of the hour, five minutes at the end, but you know, maybe five minutes of housekeeping at the beginning, but 50 minutes of it is like content slash Q&A about this issue of, for example, women with ADHD who are trying to complete projects, but are taking, you know, Okay. So, so Christine, let me pause. Is that helpful? Is that clear about what you think might helpful to? Yes, it's very helpful. And I, and I, you know, I've read, a, I've followed you for long enough and listened and it's, it's, it's the shift from all that. Cause I move it. I have been moving into this gradually, yes, but yes. the shift is so hard. <laughs> oh, mm. Sh I mean, shifting from what to what? From uh, the previous, you know, the idea yeah. of niche and yeah. um, and also moving to a, a primarily online business, you know, right. going from, you know, in person and then phone, but drawing yeah. from local folks, moving to online business and the whole idea of knit. I mean, from gosh, so yes. much, I mean, so many years of listening to that. It's just yeah. so I'm not yeah. saying I don't you know, it's just it's it's like, is this really going to work? And. But it, you're right. What you're describing is I'm it's I'm still really yeah. at the early stages of sure. And things. is it really going to work is a question that we all dance with um, every day. Um, in fact, let me let me make a different segment on this. Um, but but bottom line, faith, you wrote in your question, faith, do I just need more faith and perseverance? Of course, <laughs> as true for any business, but let me do a different segment on the, uh, on, on the other question. 